welcome back to my channel excuse my voice I think I'm getting sick because of all the traveling that I've been doing oh my god I didn't even introduce myself my name is Ada welcome to my channel me llamo Ada bienvenidos a mi canal if this is your first time here don't forget to subscribe and if you're a regular degler hey Vestina how are you my loves I hope you're having a great day bye I'm currently in LA at the moment I just finished wrapping up the we all grow Latina conference which was amazing if you are curious to know a little bit more about the conference I'll leave details below in the description so that you can check it out I'm so happy to have been here it was in Long Beach California and I just had a great time catching up with all my internet family all of the amazing women that I've met over the course of eight years as a blogger there was a lot of amazing creative entrepreneurs as well so I got to create some new relationships and overall I had a great time but as a fellow curly girl you know when we travel there's so many factors that we have to take into consideration because we have curly hair what is the weather gonna be like? How many days am I gonna be there for? Should I take all of my hair products? Should I take some of my hair products? Should I straighten my hair so I don't even have to deal with curly hair? There's so many things that we have to factor. So I'm currently staying at my friend Ashley's house since the conference is over and I don't head back home until Tuesday night. So I figured this would be a great time for me to film a video that I've been wanting to do for a while because I get it, the curly girl struggle is real. So I've been in California for a week and I was very specific about the products that I chose to bring with me based on my curly hair routine and what I wanted my hair to look like while I was here so I did bring a styler I brought a gel and I also brought a shampoo and conditioner I had very limited space on my suitcase so I had to be very particular about the items that I brought and one of the things that I always struggle with is should I bring a diffuser or not I don't have time to air dry and I want to dry my hair as fast as possible but I also don't want to take unnecessary space in my suitcase by bringing a diffuser with the blower which always tends to be so bulky so, as most of you all know, Dyson launched, I want to say maybe last year or two years ago now, a new blow dryer that is super fancy schmancy. I actually got the opportunity to try it just one time to diffuse my hair because my hairstylist owns it and I got to diffuse my hair at the salon with it because I was really excited to try it out. And it is amazing. It is everything that everyone says about it. It is amazing. But you know, a lot of us don't got Dyson money. A lot of us don't have that kind of coin. And... After trying it, I really think that I want to make the investment in it. I'm going to save up for it. But right now, I don't have Dyson money. So I need to think of a creative alternative to travel with the diffuser that is not going to take up a lot of space in my suitcase and it's going to get me the results that I want. So what did I come up with? the Dyson on a budget. I'll share with you guys all about this contraption that I put together and hopefully this could be a good alternative for my girls who are on a budget but want to look for a lightweight and travel friendly blow dryer and diffuser that they can take with them when they go on vacation or if you go away. I travel a lot and last year when I went to Europe for 17 days I did not take a diffuser or blow dryer with me and I air dried my hair the entire time I was there because again I was in Europe for 17 days with only one piece of luggage. So I wish I would have had this in handy but hey this is what my job is all about testing and trying out new things so I can bring you guys the best content so this is a blow dryer that I got from GHD they are a hair tool brand they have flat irons wands and blow dryers and this was gifted to me I did go to an event that they had in New York City debuting these new products that they have and this is one of the gifts that I received and it's this little tiny blow dryer and I'll put all the information about this blow dryer in the link below so this tiny blow dryer does come with the travel case which is perfect for traveling I chose not to bring it with me to save a little bit more room in my suitcase but I will show you what it looks like here I think it's great for putting other hair accessories in there like bobby pins and hair ties and things like that but number one I love the size of the blow dryer and I love that you can literally fold it up like this wrap the cord around and this does not take up a lot of space in your suitcase as you can see it fits right between my hands and it's pretty small GHD flight travel hair dryer is available on Ulta and a few other websites I'll leave more information in the description below so that you can check it out and it retails for $99 it comes with this nozzle attachment and does not come up with the diffuser attachment unfortunately I wish more of these brands that make these tiny hair dryers would make a diffuser attachment I don't know why it's so hard for them to do so I guess because they don't assume that people with curly hair use blow dryers but we do we use them a lot and I wish more companies made more diffusers I wanted to find a universal diffuser that would fit this blow dryer but that would also not take up a lot of space in my suitcase and the best thing that I was able to come across was the curly cold diffuser so this is what the diffuser looks like it is a collapsible diffuser which means that 
it pulls out like this but you can also collapse it in your suitcase and i mean this thing does not take up a lot of room in your luggage unfortunately the curly coat diffuser does not fit in here because it is too small if it was a little bit wider i would be able to fit the actual diameter of the blow dryer in here but it's just a tiny tiny bit bigger and trust me i tried my hardest to get it in here but it would not budge at all i even tried to stretch it the material is pretty it's silicone but it's pretty tough because it's supposed to wrap around the head the base of the blow dryer so it doesn't really have that much flexibility here at the base so i was not able to fit the blow dryer in so i was a tad bit disappointed but you know you have to get resourceful so what i ended up doing was attaching the nozzle back on the blow dryer and then attaching the nozzle to the actual diffuser even if it looks a little bit weird hey it's better than nothing i'm definitely going to keep trying to see if i find another diffuser but i think this is going to be the best diffuser for travel because it's collapsible the other diffusers might fit the blow dryer but it won't be collapsible and remember we're trying to save as much space as we can in our suitcase so i just go ahead and tie the diffuser around the blow dryer nozzle like this then I just diffuse my hair so my hair is almost dry at this point I've been diffusing it this whole time with the blow dryer and I will have to say that for the most part I'm getting great results so far the only thing I would have to say is that sometimes that diffuser does tend to collapse back into its flat shape but all I do is pull it out and I continue to diffuse my hair and I think I have finally found my Dyson on a budget and a great alternative for my curly girls who travel a lot and want to take their diffusers with them but do not want to take up space in their suitcase this is the low setting so you want to do low heat low air to prevent frizz if you really have to go and you need to get that hair dry then obviously you can bump it up to high but be aware that you are going to have some frizz dry now and look at my results oh my god I think I have, may have found my new travel diffuser and blow dryer I found my Dyson on a budget <laughs> look at these curls and I know you guys are curious to know what products I use today so I use my diva curl super cream and then my friend Ashley had some bounce curl so I stole a little bit of that from her and I applied that right over the top and these are the results that I got I'm gonna go ahead and fluff out my hair for a little bit of volume and that's it we are done if you are a curly girl and you love to travel just as much as i do please go ahead and share some tips in the comments below on how you pack your curly hair products maybe what diffuser or blow dryer you like to travel on the road with and yeah let's go ahead and help each other out by sharing some tips in the comments below if you're not subscribed to my channel girl we can be friends. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Also, if you have a friend who's a curly girl and could use a great travel hack, girl, go ahead and share this video with her so that she can have her most popping girls while she's out traveling the world. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.